I'm standing here with Steven, founder of Massive. Hi, Steven. How are you? Good, thanks. Uh, how's your secret been so far? Oh, it's awesome as always. Yes, great. Um, so for our users who are not as familiar, can you walk us through a little bit about what Massive is about um, with your crowd simulation? Okay, well, uh, I made Massive originally for Lord of the Rings for doing the crowd sequences and the battles. And um, since then, we've taken it on around the world to studios pretty much everywhere. So and it became the default standard for doing crowd shots in films and TV. Oh, awesome. And you have a lot of uh, exciting updates that have happened recently. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about the 3DS Max integration first? Yeah, sure. Well, um, a lot of people have been asking about having uh, a massive version for uh, 3DS Max because obviously 3DS Max is very popular and there really wasn't anything like that available. So we finally did uh, a 3DS Max plugin and we released it on Monday and so that's available now. Oh, that's wonderful. And is this something that uh, is open to consumers or is it mainly for production and studio? Well, the, there's quite a broad market for this because there's a lot of people using Max for architectural visualization. Uh, that's pretty huge. And uh, there's also obviously people using it for um, visual effects in production. Um, but we needed to make sure that the real trick was to, to make sure that you can render without any special technical expertise. And that, that was quite hard to crack, but we've got it now. So you, you just hit the render button and the agents will turn up in your render. It doesn't matter what render manager you're using or what renderer, it'll, it'll still work, just works. That's fantastic. So anybody could do it. I could do it. If you, could, if you can use 3ds Max, you can use Massive for Max. Okay, that's great. Um, and then uh, tell us a little bit about your parts library and, and the update there. In 8.0, when we announced 8.0 last year, we had a new feature called Parts, which enables you to save parts of agents or parts of their brains separately into a file that can be shared by other agents, which in itself is a cool thing. But this enabled us to then make a parts library, which I thought was just going to take me a couple of weeks to knock together, but actually was quite a few months of work to make this generic parts library where you can assemble very rapidly uh, agent brains for building custom agents and in fact uh, it's so useful that someone with no massive experience whatsoever can build really complex custom agents in minutes. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how this would affect a studio based on the type of studio it, it is, if it's big, a big studio, if it's a small studio? Right, yeah, this is, this is um, useful in different ways to different kinds of studios. So the large studios would use this probably more with their own parts. They would build their own parts library, which then they can share through all of the digital assets that they've got for, for crowds. So then they'll have agents for one show that could share all of those parts or share some of them, and that would carry on to other shows. And in fact, these days with studios being, you know, like they've got many studios from the same company all around the world, they could even be sharing their parts library all around the world. So that's a great efficiency for a large studio. They can update a part, and then the next time someone loads their agents, it gets that updated part, they don't even need to know about it. Um, but for the smaller studios, it's, it's quite a different thing. What it really does is it means that um, maybe this studio doesn't have a, a, a crowd specialist. They just have TDs, and so they get a job where they need to build an agent. With the parts library, they can build their agent. They don't have to be a, an expert. Oh, that's wonderful. It sounds like you've made it more, more efficient, but also more accessible. Um, sounds like the updates are going to be a really great thing. Is, are there any other ones that you want to put out there? Yeah, we've also um, improved our, our agent library. So, you know, the agents are the characters, if you like, that come, well, they don't come with Massive. They're a, an optional extra that you can rent or buy. But say you've got to do a stadium shot, well, then you'll get our stadium agent and fill the stadium with that. Um, that's part of our ready-to-run agents. But they, uh, we hadn't updated the geometry and the shaders and the texture maps that much over the last few years. So we, we completely redid that, and now we've got um, such details as um, beards, glasses, hats and scarves and all kinds of extras but also really good high-res bump maps and they just look a whole lot better than they did before. That's wonderful. Um, for our users who want to stay updated and, and stay in touch with you and what you're doing over at Massive, uh, what's a good website that they can check out? Well, you can check out our website yes. which <laughs> is... Uh, <laughs> what's your website? Ours is, is uh, massivesoftware.com um, and uh, we also have Twitter and, um, and Vimeo as well, uh, which you can find them from our website. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, Stephen. Thank you very much.